this Barn Report, we'll take a look at MSU's dominating performance at Illinois. I'll give out helmet stickers to the game's top performers. But more importantly, it's Michigan Week. We'll take an in-depth look at the huge matchup in East Lansing. We'll find out what really troubles Brady Hoke. All that builds up to my prediction. Will I stay true and go green? Or do I end up angering all of Spartan Nation? Paul Bunyan, I need your help. Your Spartan Report starts right now. Hello and welcome to Your Spartan Report. My name is Dennis Zerbano. Thank you for watching today. As you heard, it's Michigan week. Sparty Watch is on, houses are divided, neighbors are now enemies. But before we get into all that, let's take a look back at MSU's impressive 42-3 win over Illinois and give out helmet stickers to the Spartans' top performers. The whole defense deserves a helmet sticker, but Denikos Allen will get it this week. The senior linebacker stuffed the Illini running attack with three tackles for a loss and one sack. As a whole, the Spartan defense limited Illinois to only 25 rushing yards for the game. Jeremy Langford gets the second helmet sticker. He had 104 yards on 22 carries. Langford has gained at least 100 yards in each of his last three games. He also scored twice against the Illini, which brings his season total to 10. The last helmet sticker goes to the MVP of the game, Connor Cook. The Spartan quarterback went 15 of 16 for 208 yards and 3 touchdowns. Cook finished the game with 11 straight completions. And it seems head coach Mark Antonio is pretty happy with his field general right now. A lot of confidence in him, in him as a player. Uh, I think he's resilient. I think he can raise his level of play even further. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play and watching him and, and watching him grow. And I think this is a, another uh, opportunity for so let's take a look at the standings in the Legends Division at the halfway point of the Big Ten season. As you can see, Michigan State sits alone at the top of the division for now. Since all of their remaining games are against divisional foes, the Spartans still have a lot of work to do before they can book their tickets for Indianapolis. Standing in the way are the Michigan Wolverines. Head coach Brady Hoke and his team are coming off a bye week giving them two full weeks to prepare for Michigan State. Now, this game is a must win for both sides. With one loss already in conference play, Michigan must beat the first place Spartans if they have any hopes for a division title. MSU, on the other hand, has to take care of business at home to keep their lead in the Legends. The Spartans have been good in East Lansing, whereas the Wolverines have struggled on the road. Under Brady Hope, Michigan is only 6-8 away from the big house. In fact, the only loss this season was the nail biter in Happy Valley. But as you can see, the Wolverines are not the same team on the road. They lose about 25% of their total offense. The passing game depends a lot on communication and it seems crowds are having an effect on Michigan's offense. They are gaining about 100 yards less through the air on the road. And I can guarantee you that Spartan Stadium crowd will be loud and rowdy for Saturday's game. But when MSU is on offense, that crowd will fall silent. The challenge will be for that Wolverine defense to stop an improving Spartan attack. Michigan is one of 16 teams in the nation to allow less than 100 yards rushing per game. But their pass defense is struggling. They give up 255 yards per game through the air alone. That puts the Wolverines at 137th in the nation. On offense, Michigan is led by a three-headed attack. On the edges, Jeremy Gallon heads up a talented group of wide receivers. He has 831 receiving yards on the year, which puts him second in the Big Ten. Gallon also has seven touchdown receptions, which is best in the conference. On the ground, Fitz Toussaint is the primary running back. He is a physical runner with very fast feet. His 575 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns help open up the passing game. But to have success against the top-ranked Spartan defense, Toussaint will have to run north-south. If the speedy Spartans force him east-west, 
expect the Wolverine rushing attack to struggle mightily on Saturday. But the centerpiece of the Michigan offense is Devin Gardner. The junior quarterback leads the Big Ten in numerous statistical categories, most notably total touchdowns and total yards. But Gardner has the dubious distinction of leading the conference with 10 interceptions. He has improved though. He only has two picks in the last three games. Gardner's impressive season has him in the hunt for Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year. So it's prediction time. This is by far the most important game on the Big Ten slate to this point. Michigan State is coming in under the radar, sitting quietly atop the Legends division. Michigan is coming off a of bye week, hoping to keep Paul Bunyan in Ann Arbor for at least another year. Come on, did you really expect me to pick the maize and blue? I have the Spartans winning a tight battle, 20 to 17. I think it will come down to the last few drives where an untimely turnover by Devin Gardner will ultimately cost the Wolverines the game. So that's my prediction. Let me hear yours. You can share it below or on Twitter using the hashtag SpartanTalk. So that does it for week 10 of your Spartan Report. My name is Dennis Urbano. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, go green. <laughs>